What's up guys, Sam Man back and we're gonna be taking a look today at the brand new McFarlane Toys. This is a mega fig that we have Clayface based off of the DC Rebirth. Now I gotta thank Nathali for finding this for me. Thank you man, you helped me get this figure and the Power Rangers, Power Rangers, TMNT, uh, Tommy and Red Ranger. So you guys will see reviews on those eventually, but we're taking a look at the big fig right here, Clayface. One of my favorite characters from the animated series. Feet of Clay, I think, is one of the best episodes in the animated series. Check it out. The music is awesome. The story is awesome. It's a, it's a tragic story. Anyways, so we got the big packaging right here. You got the open window on the sides and on the front. In the back, you have this really cool image of Clayface. Looks like he's in some kind of a cave or something in some water. I don't, and giving like glowing eyes effect. That's kind of false advertisement because this guy does not glow in the, or his, he doesn't have any light of features. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this up and let's see if this guy is a pickup or a pass. All right, so first thing we're gonna take a look at is what it, the clay face figure comes with and it's just this collectible card. It says DC Rebirth. It's what's in the back of the packaging. There's a little bit of a read up there in the back as well. And it does come with your standard circular base that McFarland figures always come with. So let's take a close look at Mr. Clayface right here. Now again, this guy just looks so cool. I love how you have the mouth, right? And then the lower lip is just going like way down. And then you can see there's a gap between the teeth and like the lower lip. You can see it's just like dragging down. It almost looks like, oh dude, he does have mouth articulation. McFarlane. Thanks, man. I was hoping the Joker, the Titan Joker would have that. He does not have the mouth articulation, but this guy does. And I'm actually really impressed. Look at this. That is so cool. I like how he looks with the mouth open, but with it closed, I honestly think it looks a lot scarier. But look at the sculpt on him. So you can see like the different chunks of, of uh, clay, if you will. And then right over here, you can see faces hidden in there. So you have one here, you have another one here on the shoulder. You got like a skull right here on the top right and then another piece right there. And then you got him like throughout the legs. I remember seeing the promo image of this before it was released and like spotting those faces. You got some spikes on here too, on the on the left arm. And then you got the big, big old clay hands. You can see some kind of like a, like a, I don't wanna say darker, but a different color brown throughout the body. And then right here on the back, you can see, especially the upper back, you can see how like kind of rocky it is and with some spikes on there. And then on the back, you can see some more faces right there. These ones look kind of creepy. They're like embedded in him. And then you have a handprint right there in the back too. That looks really killer. And then there's another arm. There's like an arm right here on the left arm. You can see there's an arm in there. And then I think, I don't know what this is. This looks like it could be an arm or something. But, and then there's another skull here. I think that might be it. I'm not 100% sure. You can see some of the clay like dripping too in the back and in, in the arm areas. And then you can see some more faces in the leg. So I really got to take a look at it and see if there's any other hidden like faces or, or body parts or limbs in this. But this guy just looks fantastic. He's got like this like flat feet, like with the mud, like just oozing to the floor. And so that's not going to give him any issue to stand, which I'm Thank God. So he, you're not going to need his base. You can use him for another figure. Uh, but overall, this guy looks awesome. Now, as far as the articulation goes for him, again, we have the mouthpiece here. The head does rotate. It also goes, eh, it doesn't really go up and down a whole lot. The arms do go in and out. Whoa, this one got jammed forward and back. He's got a bend at the bicep. I don't want to risk it too much. I don't want it to break, but he does have a bend. He also has a lower arm rotation. And then the hand... Can it rotate? This is kind of scary here. Yeah, it rotates and I think it might have a hinge. Yes, it does have a hinge. You just gotta rotate it a certain way. And then he's got upper torso rota uh, rotation. You can see that, a little bit of an ab crunch. He's also, he's got like two points of articulation in the waist area. This part right here is like a soft rubber material, this area right here. And then you have the lower legs there. So there is, uh, they do go in and out, forward and back, a bend at the knee lower leg rotation, and that's it. I mean, there's obviously no foot articulation for this guy. Now for size comparison, you can see the Titan Joker definitely is taller than Clayface. I would have preferred if he was a little bit taller, and obviously he's the same, the Titan Joker's the same size as Swamp Thing, so they're both gonna be towering over him. And then we have a Batman. So this is a seven inch scale action figure. This is the McFarlane Dark Knight Returns one. So the Clayface is taller than Batman, but the, the Titan Joker overpowers him in height. Um, 
I like the size for Clayface, but maybe an inch or two taller would have made this figure a lot cooler. And there you have it, guys. There is my review. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys. This is the Mega Fig Clayface, and this is based off of DC Rebirth. I am happy to have this guy in my collection. I honestly don't think they make enough Clayface figures, so bring on the Clayface, man. I mean, honestly, this guy looks like just a big pile of poop, but I absolutely love it. I love the, the texture of him. I love how you can see faces and limbs throughout his body the rockiness of it, the spikes and everything. This guy just came out cool. And I love that he added the articulation in the mouth. That's a big plus for me. So hopefully, McFarlane, hopefully you continue the Batman animated series line because there's still a lot of characters I want to see made. I would love to see your take on the Clayface from the animated series, tons of other villains. So let me know in the comments down below if this guy's a pickup or a pass. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Later, guys.